Collegiate Leaders video for the Special National Conference. My name is Sarah Paul. I'm the coordinator of Collegiate Programming here in the National Office. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about what the Special National Conference is, what a delegate needs to do coming to the Special Con National Conference, and what's, what's expected of you. And then we're going to talk about the different things that will happen, so the general agenda and how things will go during the conference. So first we want to start off and talk a little bit about what the virtual room that you'll be joining will look like so that you kind of know what to expect when you come on. So if you want to look over here um, to these three different applications on the side, you notice the center one is a chat application. So this is going to be open during the entire Special National Conference and you can feel free to throw some ideas out here, have some different discussions. If you just want to say something, if you want to participate in some way in the discussion that's going on there, feel free. Something important we want to let you know is when you come on the call, we would like you to put your name, your position in the chapter, and your university in here. This is how we're going to take attendance and say that you were on the call. Above that is the attendees. This says who is partaking in the Special National Conference. And below that is the poll. So you'll see some different questions that we'll ask during the conference, and this is where you're going to answer those. Up at the top, when you come on, you'll notice that there'll be four different icons. The third one over is going to be a small camera looking icon. This is how you're going to turn on your video camera when you come onto the call. So I'm going to turn off mine real quick so that you can see what it looks like when you'll start. So you come on, it'll be a gray screen, and it'll say, it won't stay, say start my webcam because people will already be on, but you'll have to come up to the top and you'll click on the third icon over and it'll say start my webcam, which you'll click, and then you'll hit start sharing. And this will activate your webcam. Now, every delegate who comes on, we expect to fully participate in the conference, and part of that is activating your webcam and virtually being a part of it. And the uh, last thing I want to point out about the visual room that you'll be a part of is the raise hand option. This is going to be the fourth. Uh, icon over on the top. It's going to be a little person that's just raising his hand up. <laughs> so this icon is going to be used when you want to participate in the discussion. A lot of what we do talking about governments and having discussions between chapters is going to be some different things that you'll want to speak on. So if you would like to have uh, something said in the discussion, please raise your hand so that we know that you're next to make a comment. All right, and the final thing about the call in general is when you call in, when you sign in, the audio is not going to work on the actual visual portion. You're going to have to also pick up the phone and call in on a number. So you'll have a code to enter when you call in that's going to enter you into the room where everybody else will be. And then we'll need you to mute your lines so that we don't have a ton of noise going on and everybody can hear what's actually being said in the conversation at that moment. All right, Jane, you want to start off with the agenda? All right. So the agenda is of the Special National Conferences in uh, a few parts. The first part is the opening, and I'm, by the way, I'm Jane Hamblin, the Executive Director of Mortar Board. The uh, National President will call the meeting to order and explain a few of the rules, and we'll just kind of get started that way with the opening. The second aspect is governance, and that involves the Governance Committee explaining any amendments to the bylaws of the society that we have. So the Governance Committee will walk us through any amendments, and you will have an opportunity at that time to ask questions, to raise issues, or even to offer other amendments to the amendments if you would like. These amendments will be sent to you in the Guide to Governance that you will receive shortly and before the Special National Conference begins. All right, and then from the governments, we're going to move on to present the slate. So the slate is alumni candidates who are running for a position of the National Council, and they have been slated by the nominations committee. Each one of these candidates is going to have about a minute to speak about why they want that position and why they're qualified and some different things. So listen to those carefully and learn about those different people who are going to be on the National Council. From there, we're going to move into the roundtable discussion. This portion is has the most involvement from delegates. So each one of you is expected to come prepared to participate by sharing programming successes that you've had throughout the years, the year, or ideas. So take a moment, discuss with your executive board, maybe discuss with your chapter and say, what do we want to say at the Special National Conference about what our chapter has succeeded in doing this year? Then we'll move into a discussion 
about challenges chapters I've had. So this is a good portion to bring up what challenges you've experienced and then share some things that you've done really well and have helped you overcome challenges that other chapters might be experiencing. So plan ahead for this portion, come prepared and make sure you have ready what you wanna say as this uh, different section. Because we have only about 30 seconds per <laughs> chapter. So you really have to be concise and, and pick the high points. Although we'd like to hear more, we just won't have that kind of time when we complete this entire agenda. The, the last aspect of the special national conference is to wrap up and the national president will recap the meeting and explain how you would vote for or against the amendments and how you would vote uh, online for the alumni candidates for the National Council. And then you, we will conclude the special national conference, except we will have an after party for anyone who wants to stay on and ask additional questions, clarify something that was said, um, help work through a particular problem or challenge, we will stay on until all of those questions are exhausted. And anyone and everyone is welcome to stay on the call for the, app, for the after party. So that concludes the, all of the segments of the Special National Conference. Sarah? All right, well, thank you all for joining us, taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you at the Special National Conference.